Ah yes. Now we would mind be a show where today I'm just not too sure because I have got Ben Spokes, Italian and Sons Regina Pizza Fermented Beer. Now I don't know what the fuck that means, but I was just down at Ben Spoke Brewing down in Canberra. Uh, ben Spoke Brewing, they are the Crankshaft Beer. That has won Australia's best craft beer two years in a row for their Crankshaft Beer. It's a fucking unreal beer. So I went down there the other day. I got, a, I got a fucking paddle. Here's a picture of the paddle. They are the coolest fucking paddles I've ever had at a brewery. It's like fucking trying to lift fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger weights. Anyways, I didn't get around to having the Italian and Sons because I was just drinking all their other beers. So I thought, fuck, I'm going to save this one for the show. And then I also thought, why can't I make my, one myself? So I've, I've, I figured... Now, what they've, they've said on the fucking label, it's a pizza fermented beer. I don't have any pizza here, but I do have some pizza shapes. So usually... So pizza shapes, we all know pizza shapes, they're one of your favourite uh, um, nighttime snacks after uh, in, overindulging in too many things and whatnot. So what usually, what I usually like to do when I make my pizza beers is I usually like to get a good handful of the pizza shapes, but those professionals in us know that the best stuff is down the bottom. So if you just filter some of the, um, you just want some of those flakes down the bottom. So what you want to do, you want to get some of those flakes down the bottom and then I figured the best way to make a uh, pizza beer from Ben Spoke is with their number one award winning Gab's Hottest 100, two years in a row crankshaft um, cranking IPA. Tastes like beer, it's got that hoppy sort of taste, it's a bit bitter, oh, you could say it's slightly fruity, um, but it's fucking winning, it's a crowd pleaser, and then what you want to do is get some pizza flavoured lollies. Because without pizza flavoured lollies, we're just, are we even human? So bung, bung just at least like three or four slices in there. I just watch how I usually roll when I'm making my pizza flavoured beers. So what you want to do, make sure you've got a, a, a nice clean um, uh, seal on that. Because this is going to get fucking messy. Give it a fucking bang on your fucking Nutribullet. Proudly sponsored by Nutribullet. <laughs> Give it a, one of them, and then, you know, breakfast of, is served, get it out of the fucking thing, pour it into your glass. Um, now, I actually I actually called up um, Bent Spoke Brewery and asked them if this is actually how they did it. Um, I had no reply. So, let's just have it, let's just have, let's crack it open. Can you see my pizza shape still and still? It's the, pizza shapes have nothing to do with this episode, actually. They didn't put pizza shapes in it, but let's just pour it into the glass. Now I'm gonna guess that the um, the craft brewery that has won the two years in a row best craft beer for this probably made it better than I have. But let's just um, let's just see how we go. So first off the bat, I will try Marty's Beer Show's pizza fermented beer, pizza shaped beer. Let's put that one to the side for now. It's not quite what I expected. But nonetheless, let's try. Tan and Sons Arena Pizza Fan, 4.2%, 375 mils. Alright. So, straight out of, the, out of the tin. It's got a QR code on it. Scan that for the fucking thing. So, it tastes like... It's got that um, herby taste. It's got it's got more of a herby. You know how some pizza how some pizza joints used to get garlic bread. Now instead of garlic bread, they have garlic bread pizzas. It tastes like a herb garlic bread pizza. I was saying a point of reference here. Now nah, it doesn't quite have the hoppy taste of that, but oh. That's a very, it's um, like orag oregano, oregano, oregano. Fun fact, I used to have a pet ferret called oregano and another one called basil. There you go. Um, tastes like oregano, the herb, not the ferret. Slight light beer. I'll tell you what, this is a gimmick beer. I would not be able to drink a six pack of these. I'd definitely have one if I was having a pizza and just to talk about it but there you go thanks for watching my show 
Go check out Ben Spokes beers, award-winning beers. They've got a fucking great range of beers. They, um, here's one on the hop juice. That was a fucking good one. Go check out that brew down in Canberra if you're, if you're down by that way. Great food. What I got? I got the wings and the uh, loaded fries. Awesome, awesome time. Go check out my other shows where I um, I don't put pizza shapes in any of my other beers, guaranteed. Marty's beer show. You.